Joe Winters. You know, he's counting our TV9 viewers. Take a look. This is a picture of some of the small hail that we reported, a quarter of an inch or less in diameter. This was in Vinton. Megan sent that in on the First Alert Weather app. We certainly appreciate that. And again, there was a little bit of hail. There's been more just off toward the west than there, or east rather. There may be some very small pockets of hail as those cells you can see kind of in the orange color continue to move across areas of Dubuque County out of Jones County. Other than that, the strongest of the cells remain well down to our east, just out of the TV9 viewing area. They've had hail that's been about three quarter of an inch of size, as well as some gusty areas of wind. We notice back farther to the west, there's a little pocket of some rain, snow, or ice pellets kind of mixed in near Tama. Had one report of that, and some scattered snow showers farther back to the north and west. All the activity moves through with the cold front that's pushing in. All highlighted in your first alert as well. The best chance some of those scattered snow showers will be as we move through our evening hours. We are continuing to watch once again that possibility that we could be dealing with some of those strong winds not only now which we are but all the way into tomorrow morning with wind gusts at or greater than 40 miles per hour so again powerful cold front pushed through bringing down our temperatures we saw temperatures earlier that were in the 70s across much of the area now in 24 hours, we've dropped anywhere from 9 degrees colder in Makokata to 41 degrees colder than we were just 24 hours ago, that in Waterloo. Wind gusts as we move through the evening, near 40 miles an hour, near 30 miles an hour throughout the entire day tomorrow, and you factor in the temperatures, wind chills drop. 20s right now, teens by 10 o'clock, below zero as we head into the morning hours, not far below, but certainly colder than we have seen in a while across areas of eastern Iowa. Let's take a look at our nine-day forecast because there's a quick recovery coming our way as well. Wednesday cold, windy, 29, 51 on Thursday. Start chilly, but end above normal. Close to 60 then as we head into Friday. The weekend still looking very nice. Highs lower to middle 70s, maybe even some upper 70s out there ahead of the next storm system that moves our way on Monday. Perfect cold and flu season because we go up and we go down, we go up and yeah, we go down. So kind of watch that as the temperatures change. Wash your hands. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Joe. We'll be right back.